Hey everybody, welcome back to Conspiracy Theories and Chill. Today we're going to discuss the MAGA bomber and how I believe that this whole story is just a psyop being done on the American people. And no, that doesn't mean I don't think it happened. It just means I don't believe that it happened the way the media says it did, and I'll tell you why. The official mainstream media narrative of the MAGA bomber sets off my bullshit meter in many ways, but let's go ahead and explore just a few of the biggest problems I have with the MAGA bomber story and why I believe it's nothing more than a staged psyop. Let's start with that van. Look at this van. If I'm trying to deliver bombs with the intent of getting them to their intended targets, am I driving around in a vehicle that screams, please pull me over? Every single window on this van is covered in right-wing propaganda, and it looks professionally done. The stickers are even and they all look brand new. Now here's a picture of this van, same van, from November of last year, and here today. Do those, pic do those stickers look like they've been sun faded or damaged by the weather at all? No, they all look brand new. They all look the same as they did in November of last year, like they were just put on yesterday. It's not believable. The van, this van could not be more conspicuous if it tried to be. Why would you drive to this van to do any crime? I wouldn't drive this van to keep an overdue library book. This van is going to get you pulled over every 15 feet. I just don't buy that Caesar drove this van around delivering 14 bombs. Now let's get into Caesar a little bit. Let's talk about our Patsy. Caesar Psyop, or how I've come to refer to him as Caesar Psyop. Caesar is a cookie cutter Patsy. He's a nearly one dimensional character. A bodybuilding former strip club bouncer who's obsessed with Donald Trump who mails out 14 bombs to prominent establishment Democrats, all in his Scooby-Doo Please Pull Me Over van. Successfully delivering 14 packages, but getting caught right as the story breaks on the news because he's driving around in a ridiculous cartoon van. <laughs> Let's talk about the bombs. First off, who even mails bombs to people that don't open their own mail? It's not a very smart way to kill someone as powerful as George Soros or Hillary Clinton. You know, they have security teams and servants. They don't open their own stuff. That's not the way you assassinate someone like that. And as far as I know, only one bomb was reported to have been detonated, and it was detonated by police. Now, they say it had a working detonator and was a functioning bomb that could have killed its target, but none of them did. For instance, for comparison's sake, let's say, there was a bomber in Texas recently was a mail bomber and killed five people. I don't know how many bombs he sent out, but five people were killed in that particular bombing incident. But no one was killed by Caesar's bombs. And another weird thing about Caesar's bombs, you might be able to see it in this picture right here. See if you notice it. These packages, and they're all the same, they all are this way, have stamps on them but no postmarks from the postal service. These did not go through the mail. These were hand delivered. So Caesar delivered 14 bombs in his ridiculously conspicuous cartoon van it's just not believable to me. I don't believe that he could have pulled this off on his own, and I definitely don't believe he did it in that van. It's ridiculous and laughable. It's maybe the fakest story I've seen on the news since Russiagate. I don't think any of these people were in any danger at all, and this is just a psychological attempt to garner sympathy for the Democrats right before the midterms. So just ignore the lies and keep thinking for yourself. Thanks for watching this video. Please share it and give it a like. I'll see you guys next time right here from me on things and stuff. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time.